Ryan, I hear? Hey, Ryan, how are you? How are you thinking? I'm good, too. Oh, yeah. Am I doing time or Tyson? Sweet. You guys are ready? And welcome to You Have Real Estate with me, attorney Justin Clark. Whether you're a first time home buyer, seasoned investor, or even looking to sell your home, this next 30 minutes is designed just for you. Think of it like hitting multiple open houses, all from your living room, but with my advice throughout the show. If you have any questions whatsoever, I have people standing by right now to answer them. Or if you want to get pre-approved, you want to start that house hunt this weekend, you will need to get pre-approved. And that is why Dallas Lehman is standing by with You Have Mortgage. Very simple to do. Just call this number, 407 205 zero four zero zero great show for you this saturday evening at a very special time you will not want to miss a single minute but first it's time for the opening statement the opening statement today is brought to you by my good friend stephen bader the coo of iq power solar as you know they did solar for me last year i was saving somewhere around four hundred dollars a month on my electricity bill even if your electricity bill is 250 200 dollars a month wouldn't you rather pay 10 or 15? Stop getting under the grips of these big electrical companies. And also at the end of the year, when I did my taxes, I was going to have to pay $10,000 to the IRS. I had to pay them $0. And it's all because I went solar. Let's go to my house right now. Stephen Bader, how did we do it? Something incredibly crazy happened in my world over the weekend. It was my mother, actually, and her husband. They were at their house. Uh, they live in a, a really nice neighborhood in Knoxville, Tennessee, and they saw their neighbor's house. And some weird car pulled up at the house of their neighbor. They knew their neighbor was out of town. So Tom, who is my stepfather, although at my age, what stepfather, what does that really mean, you know? But he's a good friend of mine, I guess, or a big brother to me. He, being the good person that he is, went over to the neighbor's house to see what was going on. He actually snuck in the back door because he, he actually has a key because the neighbors were out of town. And what did he find? Uh, burglars were in the house. They were in the neighbor's house. And thank God they ran out when they saw him because he saw that they had a gun. Unfortunately, the neighbors had no alarm system whatsoever. And you know what Tom did not grab before he went to the house? His cell phone. So no one was there to call 911. No one was there to call the police. He had to run back to his house to actually dial 911. Now, had the neighbor had an alarm system, number one, I don't think that this intrusion would have happened whatsoever. But even more importantly, had it happened, their alarm security system would have alerted the police right away and avoided something that could have been a really, really bad thing to happen. Uh, so I really think that you have to protect your home. You have to protect your family with an alarm system. But then I also think when I, when I think about my mom, and although she's not really at an age where we worry about them living by themselves, I know at some point they're going to be at that age. And I know she's not the type of person that is going to want to go to that facility or the, the place where the older folks go, whatever you want to call it, the retirement home. She's not going to want to go there. She is self-sufficient. She will want to live by herself. But what can you do as a great son or a great daughter to protect our parents when they want to live by themselves? I'm going to tell you exactly what to do. And we're going to do so by asking real questions. Every Saturday here on You Have Real Estate, we ask real questions to the truly trend-setting people in Central Florida's real estate community. Welcoming back to the show today for the third time now, it's Tom Christ with Home Security Alarm Experts. Tom, how are you, sir? I'm doing great, Justin. Thanks and, for having me. And I lost count with Vivian Lehman, although she <laughs> said she still gets a little bit nervous when she comes and talks to you on Saturdays with oh, You Have Real Estate. So hey, Vivian, how are you? Hi, how are you? Thanks, guys. So, Tom, it, it happens. I mean, this happened in my mother's nice neighborhood just this weekend, and I think that a lot of people in Florida live in a gated community or, or a, a nice neighborhood. They're like, yeah, we don't need that alarm system because – we have a guard gate in the middle of our neighborhood or at the beginning of our neighborhood. People can't get in. I mean, do you recommend people still getting security systems in a gated community? Absolutely. So we've talked about this before, but I think we don't know who's coming through the gate. You know, there's hundreds, if not thousands of people, depending on the size of your neighborhood, who have housekeepers, pool cleaners, 
landscapers and contractors coming in and out of those neighborhoods. It's typically someone who's been in your house or been near your house that will be the person that breaks in. It's not, you know, those types of neighborhoods. It's not people wandering through. So it's it's a more, uh, you know, someone that's knows what they're doing. Uh, Vivian, I'm not trying to bring your mom into it, of course, but I, I know your mom as well. She's not going to go live in one of those places nope. either. Nope. But how do we keep an eye on them? How do we know that they're going to be protected? How do we know? I know it's all cliche. I've fallen and I can't get up, but we do worry about as our parents get older, that exact thing happening. They've fallen and they can't get up. It's a real thing. It's a real thing. And in addition to that, you know, you want the security system, of course, and she lives by herself and she refuses to leave yeah, the home. It's, okay? it's, it's non-negotiable. So Non-negotiable. So on top of that, she's got the life alert, which really helps too. And so even if she can't get a hold of me, she can get a hold of them right away. And she keeps her phone with her too. So she, she understands, but as they're getting older, they might forget to take the cell phone or they might forget. So you want something. So, I mean, Tom, yeah. we've talked about home security alarm experts and what you guys do. And, and first of all, I know that, that you've offered my folks here anyway a free consultation. So if you want to talk about getting a security system in your house, as you should, your house is your biggest investment. But more importantly, your family lives there and you live there. For a very small price, you can protect your family. And this is not just the ring doorbell. This is a security system for less than the cost monthly of my YMCA membership to protect your family. But we haven't talked yet about protecting our parents. And I know Home Security Alarm Experts has a program where we do protect our you know, some of our most cherished people, which is our parents, which is the elderly people that we have in our family. You guys do that. Tell me about it, Tom. So we sell smart home security now. So it's it's everything all rolled into one, but we have remote panic buttons that you can put on a necklace. They're waterproof um, that tie into the security system so that 24 hours a day, seven days a week, there is someone who can talk to you. We also have two-way voice communication. So instead of them hitting a button and waiting for someone to show up, they actually have a two-way voice in the panel mm -hmm. so that they're actually speaking with one of our professionally trained technicians in the monitoring center who can help them. Um, if that person is taking medications or something else, they can help triage that person um, so that when you, know, you call in all that information to the ADT mm -hmm. so that they have that information on hand. And then as the medical professionals are on the way to the house, they actually know what's going on. So if there's a specific, you know, if they have Alzheimer's or the epilepsy or they have some condition, um, high blood pressure, you know, all those things, they, they can know that before they get there. You can actually list the medications. How do we know or how do we have and this is for both of you? How do we have that negotiation with our, our parents or grandparents to to actually wear this device? Like, what does it actually look like? It's like a necklace. Uh -huh. So it's just, you know, she's got a little chain and it's yay big. And she just, and she does communicate <laughs> really? through the button. Oh, really? So that's with life alert. So it's the same. Yeah. Unbelievable. Same, same with your, your product. Yeah, so it's over the there, same huh? concept. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So, so, but it ties into the alarm. So not only yeah. do you have, you know, life alert is just the one trick right. pony. One thing. Of, right. Yeah. And this is kind of everything tied into one. So, mm -hmm. yeah. And so when they do have this on, I mean, they just hit a button and then it alerts the authorities and they can talk to someone at the same time. So it calls into the monitoring okay. station. Right. So we never go direct to the police. We okay. always go to a tech professionally trained technician who talks to them and then walks them through and they dispatch, you know, because sometimes it might be, oh, you know what? I'm feeling better. I don't need someone. Sometimes. Mm -hmm. You know, they hit the button and there's no sound, so they just automatically dispatch. Unbelievable. Why don't you do yourself a favor? Call Tom Chris right now, 407-205-0400. Let's see how to protect your house, protect your parents, protect your grandparents. And I'm not being judgmental, but they can be a little stubborn at times, too, as we get a little bit older, where, you know, maybe they see something going wrong, maybe maybe a little water intrusion, they, they, a sink was left on, some flooding Maybe they smell something burning. Maybe even that silent killer carbon monoxide is going on in this house. And they, they probably think they need to call someone, but they're stubborn. They don't want to call you. They don't want to bother you. Or they feel like they can uh, take care of it themselves. Now, your system, because I see it at my house all the time, monitors all of that, which is crazy, which really gives some comfortability to someone who worries about their elderly parent being home alone. Tell me about all of these things that it monitors. So, right. Well, I mean... 
after the last week in Texas, so water intrusion is a big thing. So we have uh, water detectors. We have fire and carbon monoxide detectors. Um, video is awesome, too. So for, for families who maybe don't live in the same place, but they want to check on their parents and know that they're okay, um, you know, we also have uh, video. So you can check on your parents. I mean, sure. there, there's all different kinds of things we can do to help protect them without being invasive or, or, you know, making them, you know, obviously our parents, we want them to have as much freedom as they can for as long as they can. Yeah. I mean, you're down in the trenches, Vivian, in the real estate world, showing houses or mm -hmm. listing houses all the time. Yeah. I mean, when, you, when you're going to sell a house and you're showing it to buyers and you show, because Tom's system is not just a, a doorbell. I mean, this is a full-blown smart house type system that can do anything that you want it to mm -hmm. do. That's got to be attracted to a buyer when they walk in and they see this fancy system on the wall that's monitoring for, for flood and carbon monoxide, allowing you to open your door from the Bahamas if you want to for a exactly. friend that's coming over. From the real estate perspective, this has got to be attractive to buyers. It is, and it's attractive also to the people that want that smart home. Absolutely. Yeah. And if, if it's a feature that I have in one of my homes that I'm selling, I'm obviously going to push that. Um, the other thing, too, with um, some of these systems is, you know, is it leased? Is it owned? So then that's mm -hmm. where you have to kind of work something out. Yeah, exactly. Well, I mean, the good thing about at least the, the system that I have is, I mean, Tom was nice enough to, to credit me most of it to where when I installed it, it really cost mm -hmm. me nothing out of pocket. And I'm sure he'll do the same with you. But then if you look at the monthly payment that I'm paying, it is very small. I mean, it yeah. literally is less than the cost of a gym membership, but I'm different. I've got two little girls in Pilar at home that are home all the time, especially during the pandemic, they're home all the time. And you know where I've been during the pandemic, here talking to you or on the radio <laughs> or, or at my law firm, I, and I feel like no one was watching them until mm -hmm. I got the security system. And, and literally we can communicate as well. Of course they can call me on the phone, but sure. they literally on the cameras that we have in the house, they can talk to me directly right on my app. Yeah. And then when I am with the girls, when we're at the horseback riding, whatever we're doing, a lot of times maybe you know her sister needs to come over and drop something off. I can literally lock and unlock the front door right, right from my phone. Or sometimes Pilar forgets to maybe lock the door or close the garage. I can open and close the garage, open and, and close the, the door and confirm that they're closed off from my phone. Did you have to get a special lock that communicates with the system? Is that how it works? I mean, okay. It all comes with the system. Yeah. It all comes with a smart home system that, that Tom Christ offers at Home Security Alarm Experts, oh, awesome. and you can do the same. And again, it costs you nothing to have Tom come out and see exactly what the best move is for your house. And I think you're going to be shocked at how little you're going to pay out of pocket to protect your home and to protect your family. It's 407-205-04. Zero, zero, and Vivian, you know, I know you do a lot of uh, commercial real estate as well. Mm -hmm. yeah, mostly, we do mostly residential, I think, mm -hmm. but this commercial market's an interesting one right now because, you know, we know the residential market's crazy. We know that it's yeah. it is really a seller's market right now. What's going on in the commercial market? On the commercial side, and and just to go down that road, I don't have any more residential yeah. listings, is so call right? me. I'll list your home. I'll focus on it. But because when you when you list a house right now, they're going on the market like that, or excuse it's, me, they're yeah. going under contract like that. Absolutely. It's crazy. But on the commercial side, you you're still seeing, and and commercial always follow, follows residential, but you're seeing um, more and more stuff, and and keeping at its price. There's not. A whole lot of deals either you know but I have a combination here I have um, a warehouse that we're selling it's on 2620 Iroquois Avenue and it's in Sanford and it's a mixed-use warehouse it's half um, executive office space and half warehouse it also has a dock high uh, loading and they've replaced all the floors paint inside and out it's on an acre so there's plenty of room to build on this property um, they've also insta installed solar panels, so very energy efficient. Um, they have a brand new 10 ton AC with a total of two units, and they fence the entire property. So it's it's quite a deal. Yeah, what's the price point here? I'm sorry. This one is 600,000 for a one acre mm. lot. So who would who would buy this? Who would this be right for? Would you say it's perfect for somebody that does distribution because okay. you both you have both the office space and the warehouse space, and it's all you. All air conditioned, not you know, not just the office space. Yeah, I mean, it looks kind of warehouse-ish outside, but inside mm -hmm. they've done a really nice job with yeah, it. Yeah, absolutely. That's a nice facility. If you'd like to see this one, if you, you own a business or you want to invest in commercial real estate, I'll connect you with Vivian Lehman, 
right now. 407 205 0400. Another one, I believe, in Stanford as well. Where's yep. this? This one is on, um, I think it was one, yeah, 1403 Medical Plaza Drive. And it's in a medical center and this is a ground floor unit that is actually two condos so they're office condos everything in this facility and this one they're asking 279 uh 279,000 and it is 2,250 square feet but it's for medical office yeah. got it and uh what is that per square foot that's actually pretty good per square foot if you do the do the math there absolutely when, when you talk to business owners and, and they're mm -hmm. it seems like for whatever reason we're always taught to to buy our house but lease our business but then i know a lot of i have a lot of friends who absolutely will say you need to buy your business as well what do you think when you talk to business I, owners should they rent or should they buy it's the same same idea though that's there's a there's a benefit tax wise in owning you know your own location in addition to the fact that the interest on this right now since it's so low you could rent that spot for what your mortgage payment would be is that right absolutely unbelievable awesome those are great yeah. properties and Thank if you, you have a property you'd like to list or you want to figure out what your house is worth before you list it uh, call Vivian at that same phone number she'll be happy to talk to you about it literally everything under contract everything <laughs> that's crazy <laughs> huh did you ever I think really we'd see a market like this post uh, uh, COVID? After, after the boom we had, you 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 thought to yourself you'd never see that again, mm. and then you had all of the, um, you know, obviously it blew up, and then it went down so low that everybody was kind of like, oh, how are we ever going to get back to where we are? We're almost there right now, yeah. as far as keeping things on the market, literally. You and put you put the sign out front, it's yeah. gone. 2006, I guess, was probably the peak uh, before some, what, yep. almost 15 years ago now, probably. And then the bottom, what do you think, 2010, 11-ish, probably the absolute yeah, bottom? Like 9, 10, it, yeah. It, is it safe to say that we've now come back to 2006 prices and then some, probably? Um, really close, yeah. you know, depending on the market. If it's the lower-end homes, absolutely. I yeah. think some of the higher-end homes didn't appreciate quite as much as the, the lower stuff. I, I think that you hear all these people saying that it's such a seller's market. Uh, prices are so so high right now. It's not a good time to buy. I disagree. I mean, literally 15 years later, we're still at 2006 prices. Mm -hmm. And if you really look at, at stocks or mutual funds, if, if we were still at a place stock market-wise that we were in 2006 now, you'd be like, wow, that's crazy. But that's where yeah. we are. I think that Florida has great value when it comes to real estate, especially with all the people that are moving down here now. 900 people a, a day last year. I think when we really get the final results, we'll probably be at 11 or 1,200 people a day moving to Florida this year because of that pandemic. And people just want to get out of places like California and New York. And I don't blame them. And I don't properties blame them. taxes have stayed, you know, relatively well, too. Property taxes yeah. have stayed low. We have no no state income tax, and, and we have Florida weather and a good, I mean, pretty <laughs> good governor. I don't that. want to get political we or anything, snowed. but, you know, we, <laughs> we uh, have a little bit more leeway than some states. We'll, we'll leave yeah. it at that. Any questions for her? 407-205-0400. Great job today. Can you guys stick around for the Real Estate Roundtable? Absolutely. Sure. Tom Chris, Home Security Alarm experts, and Vivian Lehman with you have real estate. And now, <laughs> without further ado, it's time for your portion of the program. It's time for the Real Estate Roundtable. Every Saturday here on the program, I answer your questions from throughout the week. All you have to do, if you'd like to ask me a question, go to our Facebook page at You Have Real Estate. Ask me a question right there, and we might just answer it next week right here on the TV show. All right, let's go to Jason in Claremont. I would like to get this alarm system to protect my mom. How can I make sure she wears the panic button? That's a good question, Jason. And I don't know the answer to it. What do you guys think? Any, any recommendations? I mean, we, we can't ground them. I don't know. What do we do? I think the biggest thing is my mom's a perfect example again. She... Um, she didn't carry her phone around and so i said if you can't reach me how are you going to get a hold of what because she loves to garden so she's out there daily two to three hours gardening you know how is she going to get a hold of me if she doesn't have it and if she doesn't get a hold of me she's got her life alert so what do you think how, how do we how do we convince our parents ourselves or our grandparents depending on our age how to uh wear this alarm system on their neck or the panic button on their neck 
So it depends on where we're at with our parents, yeah. right? So um, my mother was was infirmed for five years, and you know she didn't really realize she always had it on. But you just you got to make a bargain with them and let them know and understand how important it is. And it's a habit, right? Once you start wearing it, you just kind of you know. Mm-hmm. Or what maybe, or maybe threaten them with the ALS. Yeah, I mean, I yeah. <laughs> yeah, no. Well, I, I, you know, I, I don't like that. So I, I think, you know, I think selling them on the fact that it keeps them independent. Right. You know, you know, this this yeah. enables you right. to have your own independence. So, you know, I'll give yeah. you this if you give me that. Right. And I just think it's a, I, honestly before today, I did not know that that you guys did that. I think it's such an awesome product to kind of go with this whole smart home system that you have is. Is it the ability for, for our loved ones to be able to, to communicate directly if something, God forbid, goes wrong? I mean, yeah. I, I've fallen in the bathtub myself before, and I'm 41, so it, it's something that does happen. Ryan, I heard you laughing back there. You have too. <laughs> so I don't know, our producer, Ryan, I heard laughing at me. He's, trust me, he, don't listen. He's fallen in the bathtub as well. Um, all right. Uh, Julio in Melbourne says, uh, hey, Tom, great show. Do you do alarm systems out here in Melbourne? What is your geographical location? So we are actually, uh, lo- we can service anyone in basically every major market in the United States. So we're, you know, but all of Central Florida. So, okay. you know, all of Central Florida, we handle directly. And then outside of here, we've got a whole team across the U.S. Yeah, so if you're getting this show right now on, on television, by all means, Tom Chris can service uh, where you live. He'll come out there for free, tell you exactly what to do, tell you how little it's going to cost you, and again, protect your house and, most importantly, your family. Uh, Sanjay and Dr. Phillips says, uh, any part of town right now I can get a good deal on a house? Vivian Lehman. Um, there's still uh, still some good deals, and I think you're going to even see a couple of other deals because, obviously, the pandemic did hit a lot of people. And um, you might see somebody that was a little behind on their payments and they're struggling and they're going to put their home on the market. So, yes, you know, there is there is um, an opportunity at that point for the buyer. Gotcha. Maria in Marion County. Love watching the show on ClickOrlando.com. Thank you, Maria. We appreciate it. Why not just get a ring doorbell? And I have my own thoughts on this because I used to have just a ring doorbell uh, before I met Tom. I'm so happy I don't have just a ring doorbell anymore, but I'll turn it to the expert to tell me why we need more than that. So, well, I, you know, I think starting with something is better than nothing. So I encourage everyone to protect themselves however they can and whatever their budget enables them to. But I think uh, what we do is so much more than just ring doorbell and ring doorbell. You buy it yourself. So what do you do when it stops working? Like what, you know, this is professionally installed by licensed, bonded, insured, trained technicians. Um, and then if something goes wrong with it, you call me. Um, you know, I'm your advocate to help you get it taken care of. And we come out and we warranty all the equipment. So if it needs to be replaced, we'll replace it for you at no charge. And I think that's, you know, that's peace of mind. That's what we're selling. You know, it's a one stop kind of call us. We put it in and you don't have to install it yourself. And you've already told me, so I'm not ratting you out, but. You said you couldn't drill in stucco anyway, right? Right. Yeah, yeah right. Oh, please. So. <laughs> you don't want me to anyway. <laughs> you don't want me to do it on your house, I, I assure you that. Uh, all right, Tony in Deltona, how much down do I have to pay for an alarm system? How much cash out of pocket, you think, Tom, for an alarm system? So our you know, our base system, it's $99 for the installation. Wow. Um, because we're on your show, we waive that for you. So once you get the alarm installed, we give you back the, you know, give you back a hundred dollar credit basically. So it's ninety nine dollars plus tax or whatever. But yeah, so really, it's no cost up front other than the monthly monitoring charge. Good job, Tom, Chris. Like, do yourself a favor. If you want to stick with the ring doorbell, yeah, great. You can maybe get a decent video of the guy who robbed your house and took all your belongings, or, or God forbid, robbed your house when someone was home. Great. You got a video of him. What good does that really do when it comes to protecting your home and protecting your family? You need the full system. It's not that expensive, guys. I'm telling you, it's less than my gym membership to protect your home and to protect your family. Call Tom right now, 407-205-0400. Vivian Lehman, you have real estate. Excellent work today. Thank you. You did great. 
Thank you. Give her some listings, by the way. They're all (laughs) under contract. It's crazy. Tom Christ, Home Security Alarm Experts. As always, great job, buddy. Great to see you. you Thanks for the recommendation on the gym. I might look like you someday. I don't know. Oh, (laughs) But most importantly, thank you for joining us today. Any questions at all, you need to get pre-approved. Dallas is there right now. Thank you for joining us, and we'll see you next week for You Have Real Estate. All right.